Hi guys, this is DJ Adams. So, uh, just want to show you how to, um, you know, make uh, uh, samples on on your computer and then drag them to your uh, remix box. So it's very simple. Uh, I just had my remix box like a few days ago, but you know, um, it's quite a bit. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, first time it's quite a bit hard. So I decided maybe I will help some people avoiding all the trouble. I had. First thing you have to do, you need to have Remix Box. You need to have Remix, bo remix Box. And Remix Box is a, quite a virtual uh, side of your, uh, of your uh, uh, Remix. Okay, so Remix Box has pretty much all, all the part of your, um, of your Remix. And then you can actually change the setting of, of your... Uh, Remix box, but uh, at this stage my remix box is not connected. In. It's connected in my laptop, but I want to show. But you can edit anything you want. All the decibel, all the you know, you can edit anything that is in your uh, remix box uh, inside uh, inside the software, and then uh, synchro it to your remix, and uh, you know, and change everything as you like. The resonance, the, whatever you want, you can change. You can change it. Okay, but you still have your error mix to, to, to be plugged in so you can do it. Second thing you need is your record box. Record box, you can download them for free, uh, but you have to subscribe to Pioneer anyway. And uh, okay, record box 1.4, hello access. Okay, so I gotta put my password in, blah blah blah. So here is my password. Anyway, I don't care, you can use the fucking same password anyway, I don't give a shit about it. Here we go, so record box is open. Uh, it's free anyway, you want your own password, you go. You log in and and then they give it to you. So what it is is very simple. I got my iTunes open here, or I can just go to the bridge and the bridge send you to iTunes. And iTunes, you open the playlist of your iTunes. That uh, you scroll through it. For me, I got um, samples that I want to use. And then let's say I go um, for this and I push play. Okay, I decided now I don't want that. I try this. <laughs> no, I don't want that. What else do, do I have? I got so many things here, so let's go. No, not this. Mm, I won't get something, something longer. So let's say I got this, and I don't want. Um. Okay. That was fresh. That was fresh. Okay, I want this. Okay, so the simple is the, the thing you to do is very simple. You come in. This is you cut. You put your. Uh, you, you start your loop there, because this is what we want, and then you drag it again with your mouse. This is your output. Okay, so this is what we got now. That was fresh. That was fresh. That was fresh. That was fresh. Okay, and now what I do. You go, you right click on your wave, you go to export as a wave. That. Then you can select now where you want to put it. Okay. Uh, so for me, I go, let's say I go to my desktop. Okay. And, uh, you know, on my desktop, you right click again, you can create a folder, you can make Aramix. 
1000 samples Duck. and then in there you save it down deal that's it simple as that so now I want to um, uh, I want to export this into my uh, Aramix very simple here is my Aramix uh, 1000 sample that I just made I click on it yeah I open it there is the sample here and then you can listen to the sample it will just be cut where I wanted it to be cut so I go through iTunes iTunes is gonna test it for me oh it was loading anyway because I'm recording on a computer so it's a bit slow um, take a bit of RAM to that was fresh okay you heard it that was it try it again that was fresh so it's short as we want okay now you go there on this on this side because this is where your samples are you go to your sampler you double click on it it's open you take this you drag it to the slot you want and here it is is inside that slot but don't forget something you you when you finish that you click export but you need an SD card in your error mix for the sampler to be loaded in so you have to, from here you select your sample uh, your SD card that is inside your uh, error mix but don't forget something you have to tick that box if you want your sample data to go inside your error mix if you don't tick that box the sample the, the data in your sa the sampling data won't go through it that's pretty much it and then as soon as you do that you press OK it will start loading it and then you synchro it you're done with it but for for the error mix to be able to start playing you need to disconnect your error mix 1000 of your um, computer for your sample to be loaded inside your error mix and then be able to play it if your error mix is still connected to your computer the sample won't play absolutely must be disconnected after exporting and synchronizing your error mix you disconnect it from your computer it will play simple as that okay thanks for watching subscribe if you want if you don't want okay if you like it put a thumb up thank you very much see you next time